legs. Express ID verified. Yeah. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until... Cargo verified. Thank you. Appreciate it, friend. Thanks to you, we can finally move ahead with the dig. I swear, this place is bad enough without having to worry about getting asphyxiated. <laughs>
You can set up the chiral network while I work. Anyway, as it turns out, Sam Bridges, I have a favor to ask. A local porter was on his way here with something very valuable, but dropped it en route. It's a 200 million year old ammonite, which looks, he says, almost as if it were still alive. He apparently stumbled across it in a boulder field, which had previously been hidden beneath a glacier, but that's not the half of it. The man claims this ammonite has an umbilical cord. <sighs> an umbilical cord. Color me skeptical, but the specimen merits study, and I wasn't about to leave such delicate work to an amateur. So I asked him to carve out the whole surrounding chunk of rock and bring it here to me. Naturally, I wanted to compare it with contemporary specimens in the vicinity, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. But what does a dumb fuck go and do? He loses the whole shipment. Didn't even have the good sense to mark which container had the ammonite with the umbilical cord. The cargo was supposedly lost in the area to the southwest, where toxic gases have a tendency to build up. Old Mr. Reliable claims his cargo scanner is broken, and there's no way he can recover the shipment. But you... you could track it down. To protect you against the fumes, I'll provide you with an oxygen mask. Just to be safe. You can pick it up when you accept the order. That fossil could represent an epical discovery. While there are examples of viviparous fish, an ammonite with an umbilical cord is unheard of. And if it is indeed 200 million years old, it would also correspond with the end Triassic extinction, another one of the big five. Could the umbilical cord be connected to the beach? We must recover that cargo at all costs. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanisms underpinning the Death Stranding. We're so close. So very, very close to grasping the true nature of the phenomenon. Hurry, Sam. We cannot risk that ammonite being lost. Good work. New order available. Please access the... An oxygen mask, huh? Good idea. It'll filtrate the air and keep you breathing normally. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, it'll also help to reduce fatigue from strenuous activity, making it easier to keep your balance. If it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole time. But it does, so don't. Keeping up. 
Let me see. I, I have to see it. Oh my. It really is immaculately preserved. Uncannily even. Thanks for bringing... I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis to Hartman via the network. Interestingly, it seems the surrounding strata contain traces of tar, which lines up with one of his theories. Anyway, I, I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but I'd like you to deliver it to a colleague of mine, an Evodevo biologist. Lately, she's taken an interest in the tar, and I think she'd be eager to examine this particular specimen. It's quite remarkable, and that's to your credit. To clarify, she has been studying how the tar may have influenced the development of various organisms. Accordingly, I would ask that you also recover the tar collectors deployed near her shelter and deliver them along with the ammonite. It would be too dangerous for her to attempt to retrieve them herself, which is why we must impose upon you. By aiding her research, we may yet inch closer to unraveling the secrets of the Death Stranding. We've already made so much progress with the data recovered by the network. With your continued help, I know we can accomplish even more. Good work. Order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Weapons restrictions lifted.
Someone's happy. Close.
Eyes open, dumbass.
Rogers ID. Fragile Express ID verified. Weapons detected. All weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. I'm impressed, Sam. Not many people would have even attempted this. May I have a look? Not a scratch on it. And the tar inside is safe and secure. You do not disappoint, my friend. Thank you. It goes after sudden. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their advantages. These genetic factors are the key to evolution. But there are genes which have the opposite effect, those which disadvantage organisms. Extinction factors, as they have been called. These are the seeds of advancement and obsolescence. Such factors may lie dormant within us all, a choice waiting to be made. For every being since the advent of life itself. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar, evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us in navigating our current crossroads. In any event, thanks to you, I can now study the composition of the tar in greater detail. I'll make sure to share any interesting results with you later. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the Death Stranding in ways you cannot imagine. Thank you again for bringing me Mama's body, as well as that Ammonite. Speaking of which, my analysis of its umbilical cord is proceeding apace. I've been comparing the data against some of our restored archives. Anyway, would you mind returning to my lab? Preparations are finally complete for the chiral relay integration. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring them here, I would be most grateful. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. Thank you. 
parameters updated. Time limit set. This strong, Sam. We're in your corner. Keep on keeping up. Weapons restrictions. Keep on keeping up. one's for you.
continued support. Thank you, Sam. In reclaiming our past, we've uncovered a number of vital clues. Don't worry, I just got back. We have time. When you met with Mama, you experienced a strong antigen-antibody reaction, correct? There was a BT in the room. There was, but something else may have been causing it. I've discovered large quantities of chiral matter in mama as well. Not just the usual kind that collects on our skin or on our suits. It's in all her cells. Cells that are no longer active. The BT you encountered there was special. It was her child, but also her own soul. Somehow, her car and her failed to separate. They must have remained connected through the umbilical cord. It's the only explanation. Is that why I didn't get a bruise where she touched me? Yes. And there's more. Ten seconds to cardiac arrest. Five, four, three, two, one. I modified the log times. Headquarters will have no record of what we say. Look, a message from Dead Man. It came with the umbilical cord. Sam, uh, I'm sorry. You deserve to know what you were carrying. But I couldn't risk Die Hardman finding out about the case. So I had no choice but to keep it off the books. You've got to keep this between us. We still don't know if the director can be trusted. The umbilical cord was taken from Bridget Strand. I removed it in secret. The cord wasn't attached to a fetus. It was outside her body. She asked me to take care of it. Said it was the key to unlocking the Death Stranding. But she insisted that I never tell the director. The cord shows no sign of decomposition or necrotization. Almost as if it's frozen in time. I thought Hartman might be able to make sense of it. So I had it hidden with your cargo at Mountain Knot City. Dead Man's observations were accurate. It's just like Mama's corpse. What do you mean? I mean they share a very unique property. Both contain large amounts of Corellium in their cells. In other words, the President's cord was somehow connected to the beach, and that allowed it to escape the flow of time. 
I've put together the bones of a theory. It's patchy, but worth sharing, I think. Life on Earth has been rocked by many extinctions, great and small, including the Big Five. And if you examine the Earth's strata, its history, if you will, you'll find corellium deposits that can be dated to each. What if the manifestation of, uh, of beaches and other associated phenomena correspond to extinction-level events? You mean? Yes. Our Death Stranding could just be the latest of many. The records and research you helped us to recover strongly suggest that we are in the middle of the sixth extinction. Sixth extinction? Come on. You know what this is, yes? A frozen mammoth from 10,000 years ago. Correct. And this? The Iceman from uh, 5,500 years ago. They both have the same umbilical cords. <laughs> Bullshit. Humor me. What if the mammoth and the Iceman weren't frozen? You're saying time stopped for them just like it did for Mama? Hmm. Unfortunately, all these specimens were lost in the Death Stranding, so there's no way to examine the genuine articles. But some fragments of data did survive. With the aid of the chiral network, we may be able to piece together something more concrete using Evodevo tech. All right, how's this? A dinosaur from 65 and a half million years ago. Umbilical cord? Not decomposed. Uh -uh. Only mammals have umbilical cords. Uh -uh. No. Only mammals have umbilical cords used for childbirth. This is something else. Call it a strand from the um, other side. I propose that mammalian umbilici are a sort of mimesis of the strand that then evolved over time. We shouldn't assume that everything about a death stranding is detrimental to life. Trilobites, ammonites, dinosaurs, the mammoth, the iceman, all preserved as if frozen in time, all without exception, found with strands. Which is to say that all may have been connected to the beach. And this, when viewed in the context of the extinction entity, EE theory, leads me to surmise that organisms with strands are in fact extinction entities. You see, Sam, E's are connected to the beach via their strands. And it is through this connection that they somehow bring about a death stranding. So you're saying Bridget was an extinction entity? It's far too soon to say anything for certain. And since you burned her body, we may never know. Hicks said Amelie's an EE, that she doesn't have dooms like the rest of us. Sam, think. Assume that President Strand was an EE. Isn't it possible that her daughter is too? At the very least, Higgs may hope as much now that the President is unavailable. So he kidnaps her for EE powers or whatever to cause a mass extinction. Hmm. Perhaps, perhaps not. I doubt a single EE is powerful enough to cause a death stranding, assuming Amelie is an EE. Well, Higgs sure thinks she's got what it takes. Indeed. And we need to get her back as soon as possible. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Ah. This one is real. Sam, go west. How do you want me to handle Di Hardman? With your customary reserve. Nothing good will come of him learning of our suspicions. Whatever else is going on, we still need the chiral network. All right. Activating lab security measures. 